Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome to Jetty Rocks Fishing and I'm Mike D. Well in this video we're going to be doing some shark fishing. We were offshore, Amber and I, we went offshore the other day. We went offshore to look for some mangrove snapper, some lane snapper, and a variety of other reef fish. We went up there with some live shrimp and we had a great time. We caught some nice fish and the link for that video I'll either put right here or another place in this video. But on the way back in, we decided we were going to check one of the buoys for some triple tail. So as I was pulling up to the buoy and slowing down, I looked down and right in there next to my boat was about a five to six foot shark. So I decided, you know what, if there's sharks in this area, let's go ahead and see if we can't catch some chunk bait, some grunts or some whiting and chunk them, send some pieces down to the bottom, see if we can't catch some sharks. And we we're looking for the Atlantic sharp nose and man, it was on fire. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. <laughs> guys as we were coming in from offshore the mango bite kind of stopped out there so we came in and as we were coming up to the bell buoy to check to see if uh, there was any triple tail we seen a, a shark cruising just under the surface and we've seen two more since we've been here so we got some bait set out we're gonna see if we can't hook into a shark guys all right guys i think we're getting ready to be we're hooked up right now i think he's in yeah, yeah, real that one up there. Yeah, real big one, but he's definitely a shark. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one, baby. You want the shark? Here, take it. You take the shark. I take this. Okay. All right. Get this out of the way. I think he's very big. Oh, there he goes. Now he's starting to fight you. <laughs> so let him get on that trim tab, babe. I don't know if that's that little black tip that was cruising around. Come on, Izzy. Uh, it's a sharp nose. Mm -hmm. oh, there he goes. Oh, <laughs> Alright, cool. We'll shorten this. Alright, let's see what I It's gone. It just came off? Yes. Really? Oh well. Shark. Shark coming right towards me. Let's see if I can get him to eat it on. Yep, he's coming right at it. Little black tip. Come on, buddy. Get it. Blackie's got it. He's seeing it. Come on, Blackie. Nope. Don't want it. Does not want it. Dang. Well, that's the second time I've seen that black tail. He just does not want anything. He just hit it, but he did not get a hold of it. He's coming back for it. He's getting it now. He's running with it. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah, that took everything. It took everything. Yeah, that was a that was something big. Shark out there coming towards the. Oh shit! I think he got that mullet. A piece of mullet. Yeah, this took everything. This took. Look, look at. 
something's still there. Yeah, this took everything. That was a that was a big fish. Took it all. Damn. Oh my god, I got one running. Short moves. I thought he was the man. Alright. Come on, dude. Okay. Come here. Buddy, I gotcha. Alright, cool. Nice little short moves, guys. I'm a class. They're in my pocket, I think. Come on, I'll, I'll, get, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get him, man. Just gotta get a hold of him. Nice little short nose. Heck yeah. Mangoes and short nose. Can't argue with that. Alright guys, Amber's hooked up with a sharp nose. Did he come off? I think he's swimming towards Oh, he's swimming towards you. Be nice if it was that little black tip, but I think it's just a sharp nose. I'm gonna tighten the drag for you. It's a nice one too. Second one for the day. No. Maybe not. No. Maybe not. I don't like the gaff the sharp nose if I can help it. <laughs> oh, he's about to get eaten by another shark. There's a bigger one. Yeah, there's a bigger one. Oh no. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, keep reeling up, keep reeling oh, up. Yeah, not much bigger, but like six footer. Yeah. I got him. I got him. Oh, 
got him. Got him. Yep. He'll slow down. I got him. All right, All there's your oh, there's your goodness. shark. All right, there's our two. All right, another sharp nose. Sweet. All right, we're going to eat some lunch, guys. We're done. High five, babe. <laughs> you worn out? Yeah, my hands hurt. <laughs> All right, guys, real quick, we're going to talk about the rod setup that I use for these small coastal sharks. I have my pin 310. It's a high-speed reel with a level wind on it. Absolutely love these setups. I love them. I don't think Penn makes them anymore because I haven't been able to find them, but I absolutely love these reels. I got it paired with my Penn Rampage rod. It's a 6'6", medium heavy action rod. I got 40 pound test, Berkeley Big Game on here. And then what I got here is for my uh, leader, I have a number four wire steel leader to a uh, nine aught hook. I prefer circle hooks. But I ran out of circle hooks. This is the only thing I had in my box at the time. So I made the leader up real quick. Because actually we weren't planning on shark fishing. We were coming in from uh, offshore catching some mangrove snapper. And we ran across some sharks. So I stopped real quick. And I set everything up. So I had to use what I had. So I used a 9 knot hook here. But I do prefer anywhere from a 7 knot to a 9 knot circle hook. It's a lot better to use for sharks. And then the four, number 4 wire. It's about 2 foot. Two and a half foot's all you need. You don't have to go real crazy with these small sharks. To a nice little barrel swivel, to a six ounce, to an eight ounce weight. And that's basically all we're using. We were just sitting there catching some whiting and some croakers and chunking them up, putting the chunks on there, sending it to the bottom, and they were on it. So this is basically my typical small coastal shark setup, which we, you know, here at the Jetty Rocks, we absolutely love the small coastals, the Atlantic Sharp Nose, the Black Nose, the Bonnets, and stuff like that. We love them, the Black Tips. So this is the setup that we use, and it works really well. All right, guys, well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. You know, it's just sharks, and there's some people aren't really fascinated about sharks, don't really care about catching sharks, but we love them. I mean, I absolutely love catching them. I love eating them. They're just an excellent, excellent fish, and... There's a lot of them. They're very plentiful, especially the Atlantic sharp noses, which is what we caught in this video. They're, the ones we caught were about full grown, it's about as big as they get, and they are an absolutely delicious fish without any fishy taste whatsoever. I have a couple catch and cook videos, so guys have, have any free time, just check out my catch and cook playlist and you'll see some cool cooking videos for some Atlantic sharp nose and other small coastal sharks. But they're really easy fish to catch, so I hope you guys actually give it a chance sometimes, go out there and try it. You know, just put some chunk bait on the bottom with minimal tackle and you're going to catch them. You're going to hook up. We only kept the two because you only allow two per person or one per person, two per boat rather. Let me clarify that. It's two per boat, one per person. And so I don't like to mess with them after I catch my limit. I just go ahead and go. I'm not going to sit there and just hook shark after shark after shark and get in their mouths all torn up with hooks. I'm just going to leave them alone, get what I need and go. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for watching it, and I want to thank each and every one of y'all for subscribing to my channel. You guys are awesome, and I really, truly appreciate you guys. Well, y'all, till I get to see you again soon here on the water, tight lines, jetty rockers, please don't forget to subscribe, and thumbs up are always appreciated, y'all. Catch you later. Hey, jetty rockers. Thank you very much for watching this video. I'd like to invite you all to go follow me on my Facebook page at Jetty Rocks Fishing, and also my Instagram page. I also have a JRF apparel page, which will send you a link to my Teespring page, where I have some cool shirts and some mugs. I appreciate you guys very much. Well, check out the description in the bottom of this video. I'll have the links. Tight lines, Jetty Rockers.